Could Proxima B be another Earth-like planet? This is the speculation that many continue to make. The search for a habitable planet and alien life fascinates humanity. There have been various theories, especially with signals detected from Proxima B, leading people to believe there might be more to this mysterious planet. Join us on this cosmic journey. Two minutes ago, James Webb Telescope discovers terrifying city lights on Proxima B. Despite these signs, we have yet to determine whether they are messages from the planet or merely echoes of signals sent by our own scientists. Often, these signals turn out to be just that, echoes. Scientists are determined to find out if these signals are truly from Proxima B, which could indicate the existence of alien life. Recently, the James Webb Telescope detected what appears to be artificial lights on Proxima B. If you're intrigued by this discovery and curious about the search for alternate life on other planets, here's what you need to know. Proxima B, located about 4.2 light years away, orbits Proxima Centauri, a faint dwarf star classified as M-type. The star is the closest to our sun, making it a prime target for extraterrestrial studies. Named Alpha Centauri by Johann Bayer in 1639, the star lies at the center of a single star system consisting of four main stars in a line. Proxima Centauri, also known as Alpha Centauri or Alpha Centauri A, is accompanied by faint dwarfs Alpha Centauri A, Rigel Centaurus, and Alpha Centauri B, which together account for most of the system's mass, though they are too faint to be seen with the naked eye. This system sits in the constellation of Centaurus, just 23 degrees from the famous Plow asterism. Although Proxima B is a rocky planet, scientists are still holding out hope that it may harbor extraterrestrial life. The planet's size and distance from its star bear similarities to Earth, making it a potential candidate for habitability. While all this remains speculative, the possibility of life persists. There's much more to discover about Proxima B and its orbit, so stay tuned. And if you're interested, check out our other content related to extraterrestrial life. Do you believe there's life beyond Earth? Let us know in the comments below. What captivates most people about Proxima B is its Earth-like characteristics. Studies show that Proxima B is an exoplanet orbiting an M-type star with a mass 1.27 times that of Earth. Moreover, Proxima B takes only 11.5 days to complete an orbit around its star. Discovered in 2016, it has since become the focus of many scientific studies. However, despite these similarities, there are significant challenges. The planet is far too close to its star, resulting in extreme ultraviolet radiation, hundreds of times more than what Earth receives from the Sun. This radiation is so powerful that it strips away hydrogen molecules and, over time, could also strip oxygen and nitrogen, making the planet uninhabitable. Some argue that Proxima b should be habitable because it's at a similar distance from its star as Earth is from the Sun. But distance alone doesn't guarantee habitability. There's no evidence that Proxima b has water or a life-supporting atmosphere. Earth's atmosphere, for example, is crucial for regulating climate, maintaining liquid water, and protecting life from dangerous space weather. Without an atmosphere, even Mars would be inhospitable. If you've made it this far and haven't yet subscribed, take a moment to hit that subscribe button. It helps us continue creating content like this, which we hope you'll enjoy. Now, let's explore why some believe the James Webb Telescope could help us determine whether life exists on Proxima b. The James Webb Telescope was launched in 2018 after several delays dating back to 2011. Many changes were made during its development to ensure it would deliver accurate images. As astrophysicist Avi Loeb explained, if a planet like Proxima b absorbs light from its star, it could re-emit it as infrared light. The James Webb Telescope was specifically designed to observe infrared light, capturing images of this radiation on planetary surfaces. By studying these images, scientists may find patterns that suggest the presence of water or an atmosphere. One key advantage of space telescopes over ground-based telescopes is that they don't have to peer through Earth's atmosphere, which can distort observations. As a result, space telescopes offer clearer views of distant planets. Another advantage is that space weather conditions don't interfere with their operation, allowing for more consistent data collection. However, there are drawbacks. If a space telescope malfunctions, repairs are expensive and require complex missions. 
The James Webb Telescope, in particular, is stationed over 1.5 million kilometers from Earth, making any potential rescue mission impossible. The James Webb Telescope has a larger mirror, allowing us to see back to the beginning of the universe, nearly 13.7 billion years ago. The farther an object is from us, the further back in time we can observe it. This is because it takes time for light to travel from the object to Earth. The telescope's ability to view the universe in longer infrared wavelengths allows it to detect distant galaxies with more precision than was previously possible. As a result, studying planets like Proxima b has become easier. Taber and Loeb developed a scale to measure artificial illumination on a planet, comparing it to how the sun illuminates and reflects light on the planet's day side. At 0% on the scale, the planet's night side is completely dark with no illumination. At 100%, the night side would be as bright as the day side. Speculation about a hypothetical civilization on Proxima b using this type of artificial light has led scientists to believe that it might resemble the early days of Earth. Based on this scale, studies show that if the night side of Proxima b reached 5% of the natural illumination of the day side, the James Webb Telescope could detect the artificial light with 85% accuracy. If the illumination reached 9%, the detection rate would rise to 95%. While 5% illumination may seem minimal, considering the star Proxima Centauri is 20,000 times dimmer than our sun, the amount of reflected light is still significant. At just 0.01% illumination, we are still visible through stellar reflection. In other words, if Proxima b hosts a disguised civilization with light levels similar to Earth's, the James Webb Telescope would not detect it the stars would need to be approximately 500 times brighter for such detection, which is impossible due to Proxima b's close orbit to its star. There is speculation that the planet might be tidally locked, meaning one side always faces the star while the other remains in perpetual darkness. A civilization on such a planet would likely need to use bright orbital mirrors to reflect sunlight from the day side to the night side. These are theories presented by Taber and Loeb, but no concrete evidence has been found to support them. On Earth, the phenomenon known as airglow is visible from outer space, appearing as bright red, yellow, green, and purple light when viewed from 300 miles above the planet's surface. Airglow occurs when atoms and molecules in the upper atmosphere produce light to release excess energy. This process happens when they become ionized by sunlight and capture free electrons. Airglow is often compared to an aurora, but auroras are caused by high-energy particles from solar winds, whereas airglow is driven by daily solar radiation. Since the James Webb Telescope's launch, scientists have questioned whether it is sufficient to detect planets in distant galaxies. Despite being the farthest satellite telescope ever launched, it still provides limited data for identifying life-sustaining planets. Discussions are underway about building larger and more advanced telescopes, though these projects are costly and prone to delays. The James Webb Telescope itself experienced significant setbacks, launching years later than planned. While developing better innovations for space exploration is challenging, the results from the James Webb Telescope are promising. Soon, we may learn whether life exists on Proxima b or other distant planets. The launch of the Habitable Exoplanet Observatory, HABEX, estimated for completion by 2035, is expected to revolutionize space exploration. HABEX is projected to travel deeper into the galaxy than the James Webb Telescope, marking a significant step forward in our search for habitable planets. As a civilization, we are still far from discovering life on other planets. However, with advancing technology, the possibility grows. For now, we can only speculate about Proxima b and other Earth-like planets. Thank you for joining us on this cosmic journey. Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars. This is Cosmic Inquiries, signing off.